What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little different. I figured I'd give everybody a little break from the garage videos and do something a little bit different, something I've been putting off that I don't do regularly. And it may seem silly, but I'm talking about boot care. And I'll be honest, I don't take care of my boots nearly as well as I should. And you know, we're paying $200 for a pair of work boots and they need to last. I want them to last. I don't wanna be buying boots every six months. I finally got tired, I'm like, okay, I need to start taking better care of my boots. So I'll be cleaning them, letting them dry, and then oiling them up based on the recommendations from the boot company of the boots that I own. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna do a waterproof test after I put this mink oil on there, and we'll see if it really makes a difference or not. Also, don't forget, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next video. These are Thorough Goods. And here's the model number if you guys want to see it. It's 814-3600. I'm not sure if you guys can see that in the, in the camera. but So I'm just going to do a quick video of how to clean them, how to oil them, which I haven't done this since I've had these boots, so it's way overdue. Uh, they'll last a long time, and you can see they're pretty beat up. So we'll do that, and we'll uh, see how it goes. First step. Take the laces out. We'll just go through, we'll take these out. I've got this one pretty much already out of the boot. That's the first step. Next step, we'll do is we'll start scrubbing them down with just soap and water. I'm just using Dawn dish soap. And I'm going to use, this bristle brush might be just a little too rough for the leather so I'm gonna try I'm going to try this one instead and see how that goes and see if it gets all the dirt and mud off get the water going and make it a little easier if you got a sprayer obviously on your faucet so I'm just gonna go through and get them wet knock off all the loose knock off all the loose dirt mud that's been kicked down there. Now this Pacific boot is totally waterproof up to here obviously but this boot is 100% waterproof so that's the reason why I bought them. I'm all rinsed off. I suppose you could do this with a garden hose too. I'm just in here doing the laundry sink because there's hot water. I'm just gonna fill up this bucket with water and the soap. That way I can keep dipping the brush in it. Rinse it out first. If we need some more soap, I suppose you could just take this brush too and get it directly on the brush. We'll see how it goes. Go through and scrub them. You can see the color of the suds already is might be hard to see in the camera, but they're already brown. Just showing you how dirty they are. Like I said, I haven't done these yet since I bought them, and they're a few years old, so I've way overdue. Honestly, I've neglected them, which is pretty terrible, but how much the actual boots cost. But let's see if we can get them cleaned up. So this, the sole when you first buy it is almost white. But that doesn't last very long if you're actually working in them. So I have another pair of these that's not waterproof that are just black. I just wear them kind of as dress boots that are really, really nice too. But if you're using them for work, that sole is just not going to stay 
white or even remotely white, I can tell you that it'll stain first couple times in the mud. It won't last. See if I can show you guys. Watch all the dirt come off this thing. You guys can see that in my video, but look at all the dirt coming off that. That's just from scrubbing it with soap and water. Pretty clean. So you can rinse and do a second, quick second pass through, which I'll just do that real quick. Since it's been done so long. Here's what I was talking about with the sole. See how it's kind of stained? You won't get that off. Okay, same thing. Scrub this one down really good. This little brush seems to work okay, so keep using it. It's not too stiff a bristle either. Make sure you get the whole boot. Get the tongue too. That's all leather. That gets wet. Muddy. I don't want to miss any. Okay, go through Give this one a final rinse. That looks pretty good. Okay, they're both clean, soap and water. One pair of clean boots. Once they dry, it'll take a couple days. We'll move on to the next step and we'll get them all oiled up. See what they look like after they're all done. Okay, boots are all dry. You can see the leather doesn't look too bad, but see how dry the fronts are? So if you don't put any oil on them, they're gonna dry rot and just get worse. So that's why you wanna keep them clean and keep them oiled up. These are Thorough Goods, and they recommend mink oil. You can go to their website and actually look and see. This is what I bought. I just bought this off Amazon, actually. They might actually carry their own line of mink oil, I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like. Get the camera to focus. I'm going to wear some gloves while I do this and clean towel, horsehair brush. There, make sure we don't miss any, get where the eyelets are, get around all the stitching, and then what we'll do is we'll go back and wipe off the excess with this rag. And then what we'll do is we'll grab the horsehair brush and give it a final buff. So we'll see how it turns out.
This stuff is really oily, so I definitely recommend putting some gloves on. Make your life a little easier. We'll just keep going here. Thorough good, it says, use a lot of it. So, we'll get it all in the stitching and everywhere else. You see the difference too on the front of it now. Oil, no oil. Okay, we'll let them sit for a few minutes, kind of soak in, but honestly, there's not much extra on there. I mean, there's some, but we'll go through and kind of give them a wipe down, but. Now we'll take the horsehair brush. There we go. One clean condition pair of boots.